nationwide uh, re uh, readmissions uh, database, which is a uh, all-payer nationally representative database, um, which allows us to uh, examine outcomes across a um, pretty representative cross-section of the country. We examined the uh, NRD, this is the database, um, between 2010 to 2014, and we examined 54,597 discharge records of patients undergoing uh, catheter ablation of atrial fibrillation. Uh, we were careful to make sure that we excluded any patients who were uh, getting ablations for other reasons. Uh, and what we uh, were interested in looking at was the impact of institutional procedural volume on outcomes, in particular procedural complications, mortality, and 30-day readmissions. Uh, what we did was we uh, divided up the hospitals into three uh, groups, um, and uh, patients were uh, when underwent ablations uh, either at lower volume, middle volume, or high volume centers. And what we found was were some pretty striking findings that um, procedures being done at low volume hospitals, um, uh, patients who were having procedures done at low volume hospitals had significantly increased uh, procedural complications, um, and they also had increased 30-day uh, uh, readmissions. The other uh, interesting finding that we saw was that there were actually significant differences in the comorbidities between the patients who were undergoing ablations at lower volume centers versus higher volume centers. Me, uh, uh, specifically, we found that patients who were being um, uh, having procedures done at low volume centers were actually older and had significantly uh, mo more comorbidities. Um, so in essence, we're adding some insult to injury. So not only were they having more complications at centers that were doing less of these procedures, but they were already sicker to begin with. Um, and we were careful to make sure we adjusted for all those, uh, the age and comorbidities, but found that even after adjustment, that uh, uh, having procedures done at uh, a low Lyme centers were as associated with a over two-fold increased risk of procedural complications, specifically greater than five-fold increased risk of cardiac perforations. Um, when we looked at readmissions, interestingly enough, if you adjust for comorbidities, we did not find a significant increase uh, in all-cause readmissions with lower volume centers. However, if you combine mortality from the time of the procedure plus mortality during readmissions, which we defined as early mortality, we found that there, that low volume uh, ablation at vol low volume centers was independently associated with increased early mortality uh, with a two-fold increased ri risk. Uh, low volume hospitals are defined as uh, hospitals who di that did um, 20 or fewer procedures per year. Um, and higher volume centers were centers that did 53 procedures per year or greater. Um, and it turned out that about 79% of all the hospitals actually belong to the low volume um, tertile, uh, which was uh, uh, striking. One of the limitations of this study is that we, uh, we uh, stopped our analysis at 2014. Um, the NRD uh, has been issued for 2015. Um, but uh, but 2016 is not available yet. So um, so one of the limitations is we don't know uh, if the data is exactly the numbers are going to be exactly the same. But I think that a lot of these themes are going to be very similar. Um, in fact, um, uh, studies that have been published uh, based on the national inpatient sample um, on a uh, somewhat older cohort have very very similar findings um, compared to ours, showing that lower volume centers had increased complications. And so what do you see as the potential implications of these findings for the way uh, AF ablation is being delivered in U.S. practice? Uh, do you think anything, any consideration needs to be given to volume thresholds at programs? Yeah, I think that that's uh, something certainly to think about. Uh, um, you know, uh, uh, one of the limitations of the study is that we were looking at uh, institutional procedural volume and not at specific operators uh, so that will be would be a very you know, important variable to look at um, but I think that uh, one needs to think about um, whether or not we want to establish quote-unquote centers of excellence that do a certain number of procedures um, I don't know if there needs to be some policy that states that you know below a certain number you know well, some kind of certification process that gets into other concerns of course because we also want our patients who need a to have access to it um, and but uh, th uh, there are, but there are a lot of uh, uh, questions that we need to um, uh, ask and the other question is also that patients we found interestingly enough that a lot of patients who are sicker were being done at the lower volume centers um, which is in some ways paradoxical you would think that 
the sicker patients would be done at the higher volume centers. But then uh, the question remains, you know, is it a pa pa uh, physician education issue? Um, do physicians at lower volume centers um, need to be a little bit more stringent in how they uh, uh, select their patients for AF ablation? Um, um, the strength of the study, our study, is that it, it, we have large numbers, but it doesn't get at the obviously the complex components that enter into um, the findings that we see.